Say you a fan where quarter son get beat up is crazy. <laughs> that is insane. Cousin, what's up with you? Are you okay? <laughs> what's up with you? That makes no sense. Why are you where are you in the facility for recording this? How are you a fan of sir? This is this is this is what the internet is now becoming, bro. This is sick. <laughs> this is sick. What is it? Clout, whatever you want to call it, bro. This makes no sense to me. Yo, I'm a fan. I'm this is a security guard? Yo, was that a security guard or was that a dude from L why does the F Oh, okay. Yeah, you can I know, but hey, yo. Some face look crazy. Is that the LA Fitness dude or is that is crazy. You know what's happening right now? Six nine. I think. Hey, I think he's running out of money. I think it actually takes way more money than people probably realize to have the protection that is necessary for him to walk. Y'all hear he's doing shows like outside the city. He's filling, filling out the shows or, or the shows are being sold out. I don't know how true him running out of money is. I just think that he's getting relaxed. And I feel as though that is the worst case scenario. He should have just did what the feds told him to do, bro. That's why I was so confused. When they said he could go, and then they were, like, trying to provide him, you know what I'm saying? And then he was like, nah, I'm good. And he started paying his own security. I think that is crazy. I think that's crazy. Because the feds are going to protect you. You feel me? And nobody, even, even if, let's say, for example, I'm going on like, let's say even if somebody saw you, bro, once they see a federal agent or something around, bro, they're not going to do nothing to you. Because at that moment, now you're messing with the government. And let's say you beat him up. Like, he was in, let's say the, let's say if he was, you feel me, he was being mo uh, monitored by the feds. Or let's say he was, um, they were, they, they, like, you feel me, they had him in the protection or whatever the case may be when he moved around. Nobody would want to do nothing to him because that they're just bringing too much attention to yourself, and nobody's gonna feel it necessary. Like, you know, let's just beat him up in LA for this. Nah, that's a federal crime. Y'all all getting done. They getting, you feel me? So, him trying to pay his own security or whatever. I think he's just trying to. He's getting relaxed and and, and forgetting that yo, you talked a lot of crazy stuff on the internet. People want to do stuff to you, even if you didn't do that to them. People just want to do stuff to you. Like regardless of that snitching allegations, people already wanted to do stuff to you. But then on top of that, now they want to do something to you even more or you snitch. And then on top of that, even more, you talk so much crazy stuff on the internet sometimes about people and about people that like other people that they want to do something to you. Don't make sense, but that's just what's going on. So it's like, bro, you just... Walk around the way that he's trying to work. Walk yeah. around. There's no way this Don't... nigga went to a LA fitness of all places, bro. The reason why this is so interesting, though, is that... So many other gyms that to... people like that are famous or like or, or celebrities or have kind of like internet sensations like they can go like gym wise and you have to go through a lot of things to even get in there you know what i mean so it's kind of like la fitness is, is crazy who's been antagonizing like the internet for the past like five years or some of the things that he says and not as joe not to say violence is okay i'm not saying nobody need to be him but i'm saying the things he did this is kind of the energy you're going to get back so to speak you know what i mean like you can't go out slapping people and then Slapping people three years, three, four years ago, and when you see them, you don't like you don't expect them to punch you in, or shoot you in your face. You know what I mean? That's extreme, but again, you can't, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't tell me how to react later on or whenever. That's just what it is. He's untouchable. King Von said, when I die, my niggas is on slide every day. Cat, nigga. That shit is cat. Who slid for King Von yet? That nigga resting fucking piss, nigga. Here's his tough guy, Provado. Oh. I'm I'm untouchable. Like remember when he went to Chicago. Oh block right here. This is what y'all wanted me in Chicago. This old block right here. I should call this shit no block. It's ten o'clock. Where the fuck y'all niggas at? Yo, oh, we God. know it's like we know it's just entertainment. He does he's not uh, who's untouchable? Nobody is untouchable. Oh, like, six nine! No man, when they picked up El Chapo, bro, nobody's untouchable. Yo. You can't be untouchable, the feds got. Untouchable, nobody, and he knows that nobody's untouchable. So Why then, so then, don't go on the internet bragging like that. I know you think it's entertainment, but then when niggas touch you, then it's like, all right, bro, like you. I actually switched from Chrome to Opera GX a while ago just because I was so tired of Chrome being the absurd resource hog that it is. And you, you're definitely touchable, bro. I I like 
some people might disagree with me. I think this is great for his brand. I think this starts to make him feel like, no dead ass though. He's a pretty unlikable person. Like he's polarizing. He's likable and unlikable, but like for the last few years, you can't yeah, like him without like niggas making fun of you, right? Okay. Like if you say you're a six nine fan, no, no, like, yeah, what? for sure, whatever. Right? Yeah. Like, That's why he's going. Why, why are you six nine fan? Why is this good for his brand though? Because I think he has to present himself like the underdog before he starts to see more support. And getting your ass beat is a great way to get started. Oh, I disagree. Mm -hmm. I think I think that yeah, um, you know any six I, I nine fans. Exactly. I, Davis was one of them at one point. Exactly, but he doesn't rep it no more. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. Like you have to it has to be okay for you to be a fan of six nine. He has to come out of the bullshit that he had put himself in. And that's just if he wants to make music in general. He hasn't dropped shit in a while. Uh, and as far as I know, he is not running out of money. But I think he is eventually on the track to run out of money. I'm not, I'm not talking he broke. I'm saying is the amount of money he was spending with the type of security that he used to run around with, he don't have that. I don't think he does. I'm just I'm saying, saying he, he don't probably have spends money. it at a pace. He has, he has to spend it at a pace. It could be in like five years. In five years, he could have a whole nother. He could, maybe like, he could just fucking escape to any other country that doesn't oh, use American nigga, you currency. You need to escape now. <laughs> Don't wait. Yo, why? Don't wait. Don't wait, nigga. First of all, as beaten, we could have seen it from a mile away. It was wait, only wait, wait. Stop how you think that it's... I don't think that it's good for its brand because I think that's going to make it worse because everybody wants to beat his ass. Everybody wants him Nobody to get touched. Nobody thinks he's tough, bro. But no, Nobody, I'm not saying that they don't... I'm not saying that, but they want to They want to see him get touched, bro. Oh, my God. Do they not? Marcel, you're missing my point. You cannot be a fan of 6 9 without criticism. That's because niggas think it's lame to be a fan of 6 9 okay, right now. I get that. So you have to change that perception by getting people to look at you differently. Niggas don't think he's tough. He's just trying to be entertaining, run around pretending he's tough for the past few years. Now, he probably knows some tough guys, but he himself relies on security to survive because without security, this is what the fuck happens. So the point I'm trying to make is you have to change people's perception to you. And you who's, gotta, a who was a villain when you were growing up? Like a a NBA, no, in, in the NBA. Uh, like right now it's Dylan Brooks, right? And when Dylan Brooks gets shitted on, nobody doesn't be like, oh, Dylan Brooks. That's you not it. You know what, Dylan? That's a horrible... I see what he's saying, though. I see what Adrian is saying. That's true. The perception of 6 9 is going to change. Because look, boom. After that video dropped, I seen another video of him. I don't know. He was in some country. He was explaining. He was saying how, like, like how he feeds, the, how he helps the homeless. And he was like, who other, what other Spanish rapper or entertainer does it? Like, I do it. Like, my mother was poor. I'm a, she was an immigrant and all of this and all of that. He was giving money back. And he was, he was, it was a very inspirational video. Um, and it was a different side of him. So he was, it was kind of almost like a rebrand, so to speak, right? And then, um, but th and this was right after him getting jumped. It was like, he was naming like popular stars like Pitbull and all these other, you know, he was like, who else gives back to the poor? And ah, uh, I do this because I was an immigrant. My mother used to get bottles and, 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 and turn them in for money. And you know what I'm saying? And, it's not about the money, you know what I'm saying? And 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 to be honest, I'm not even gonna say it. a lot to y'all. I never had, I never really cared for the dude. Like people used to play him, he's like, all right, cool, whatever. I never really cared for him before or after the snitching. Still don't really care for him. I think he'd be wilding, but it's in it's for entertainment purposes, obviously, because he told. So you can't be this person anymore. This is a persona at this point. This is this is a character, and the character died, and now you you feel me? But long story short, I say all that to say. It gave me a different side of him. It it made me feel a little bit like, oh, okay, like you kind of have a purpose for why you're doing what you're doing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Before, you know what, Dylan? Blatant. I'm I'm a fan of yours now because the way that you got dunked on and shitted on. I can name people that yeah. like Dylan Brooks. I don't know a nigga who likes Six Nine. You cannot name a nigga who like Dylan Brooks. I can. No, you see, you're lying now. You're lying. Ask Grizzly fans. Kyrie, I don't even think they like that nigga. <laughs> I did ask, can I find one human, considering the number six nine puts up that could say, like, I really like six nine. I'm just saying, bro. That's no, my I see opinion. Well, well also, they're probably opinion. not our demographic, though, either. That's you know, true, too. But I talk to all types of people, bro. Uh, you talk to a lot of I'll ask my stream today. I'll what, ask my stream not... today. I'll say yes, no. What, uh, do y'all like niggas get behind a keyboard like, nah, I'm not going to admit to that. Even, yet, yeah, anonymously, they <laughs> won't admit to that. Uh, but anyway, the point I'm trying to make I is see just, what you're saying. you just the need fans. people to change the yes. way they look at you dramatically. So how many more times you got to get his ass beat? I mean, this is uh, probably, probably at least two, three more times. Probably one more time, man. Probably one more time. Oh no, I think you gotta get his ass beat two more times, bro. <laughs> two more, two more good times. Okay, all right. Niggas gonna be like, yeah. Hey, uh, he might not even be trying to release music. Maybe he retired from that shit. Who knows? Nah, if I get my ass beat, I'm dropping the album that night, nigga. I'm, I'm in the studio recording, putting in crazy. I, hopefully he's okay. We didn't say that. Jumping rope when they jump me in LA Fitness. <laughs> I mean, he's in. He got rushed. Nigga had the camera and they he knew got they were the to witness. The hospital. Hopefully, he's not dead and not he's not recovering not. from his wounds. Uh, I, most people could say he had this coming, considering all the theatrics he put up 
Like I'm not gangster yet, man. I'm the most humble guy on earth, man. But niggas don't touch my game. But spin that one more time. So over the past few years, he has made it a mockery to go to different cities and poke at different people who definitely weren't going to take lightly to his jabs. So he had this shit coming. I think a lot of people agree. Yeah. I think probably a lot of people celebrated this too. Without yeah, a lot of people celebrated, which is crazy, but I kind of understand it, bro. You can't be playing with people, bro. Like, you just can't. Like, the internet is just, bro, they going to win every time, bro. Especially when you're talking crazy. You're talking about being bad people. You're talking about, like, just ain't touching my gangster. Nobody doing nothing to me. I'm untouchable. Ah, ah. Bro, like, come on, man. I get it, though. It's, it's for entertainment to keep his, his lifestyle afloat because as, as crazy as it sounds, negativity sells. You feel me? Negativity sells, and that's just what it is. So, hey, man. Don't play with the wrong people, man. Just or don't bump into the wrong people. Get the proper, you feel me? Vet the proper people to take care of your life, man. Because at the end of the day, you got one of them, and that could have went left. Like, what if you ran into somebody that don't, you feel me? That don't care about nothing. Nipsey Hussle was a prime example of that. He ran into somebody that don't care about nothing. He was the dude was a schizophrenic. He was hopped up off of pills. He was uh bipolar and all of these other different things. He said something to him that he didn't like, and he came back and you feel me violated to the extremist. You know what I mean? Nip would have still been alive if he possibly didn't say something to him. But and, and with respect, I understand why he said it in his, in his, you feel me? But at the same time, man, it's that just that fast. Like, what if you would have bugged it to that kind of guy who just was on, was just out of his mind and just, you feel me? So, yeah. I mean, hey, man. Don't really got too much to say about him, man. Just, yeah. <laughs> Be easy, fam. They on your heels. They want you. You feel me? The word. <laughs> Move tack. Move tack, bro.